I ran to this the other day. It's on ECM files. I didn't know what the hell it was, but uh, ECM is basically error correction codes. You know, when you burn an image, like an ISO, an IMG, a bin file, uh, those type of things, right? And what this one does is actually compresses those. Um, they use this back in the days when you know high speed wasn't really high speed, and that was a way to lower their file size and uh, you know transfer files over the uh, internet or whatever um, so in most cases now when you run into them you want to decompress it so that's what we're gonna do alright so I'm gonna bust out a terminal and make sure you install this program called ECM it's just called ECM in your package manager that's it but we're gonna decompress it so we're gonna use uh, un ECM command here it's in the same package and then we're gonna type in uh, the ECM file that we have so our ECM was this one here and it usually comes like uh, you know in a bin file or IMG or ISO or whatever it is and the extension at the end is uh, ECM here so all you gotta do is do that and we're just waiting for it to decompress it so you can see that it says that it's gonna use this thing here and it's gonna come back to a bin file right so there you go and that's it that's all you gotta do okay let me see here so this was uh, the actual original image which is like 389 here and after they ECM it um, it was 360 but afterwards when they compress it using a RAR file these two files here you can see that it only comes out in 140 uh, meg so that was their goal to make it um, very small so you can transfer over the internet and uh, nowadays you don't really need to do it you know but some of these still exist so that's how you would un ECM it now if you do want to ECM it um, just use the, the, the terminal this just for a reference you, I don't think anyone would actually use the ECM anymore but if you actually want to do it just put ECM and uh, the file name right dot bin or dot uh, img or uh, you know, iso or whatever it is and that's how you get uh, rid of the, or compress the error correction code but uh, you know nowadays we don't need to do that we're just gonna mainly use uh, un ECM if you run into those files right so that's how it's done um, that's it for this one